أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وعلى الأبدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب حب لي من الصالحين ربنا حب لنا من أزواجنا وزورياتنا قرة العين وجعلنا للمتكين إماما أما بعد السلام عليكم dear friends inshallah today uh, we are you know inshallah hopefully we are going to discuss something about and a kind of pronoun and that's you know supposed to be called as distributive pronoun distributive pronoun and uh, inshallah we will finalize we'll you know conclude at this very kind of pronoun and hopefully inshallah we'll be delivering a lecture, lecture on uh, you know uh, another part of speech hopefully in the coming days and this inshallah will conclude by this very kind of the pronoun will get the conclusion of whole of the typology of you know pronoun since we have you know previously you know declared that all these lectures are available at our youtube channel that's smart learning academy they are also available at our website that is shahzarkhai.com and uh, your friends you are supposed to search and google all these very things and inshallah hopefully you will be getting a much benefit inshallah and uh, i want to give all these lectures so each and every i mean say all in sundra i will get benefit of all these lectures inshallah now we have to see what is distributive pronoun this word is also having you know clear you know meaning this is also self self explanatory word distributive pronoun first it is pronoun okay first it is pronoun and it's having some sort of you know concern with the distribution purpose it means the pronoun used for the noun pronoun used for the noun singly or in separate manner when we use a pronoun for the noun and the noun can be place person or thing when we use the pronoun for all these very things in separate terms uh, we use the pronoun singly for all these very you know types of the noun then the pronoun are supposed to be you know classified as the distributive pronoun there are different you know different distributive pronouns are there like there is you know each either neither one and other all these words we have to make it clear that all these words are first pronouns that means that these words act as a substitution for nouns that's why they have been you know called as the pronoun this is first thing the second thing is that they are distributive why because when we use them we use them we use them singly we use them for separate things okay for example i write a sentence over here suppose each of the boys himself of the boys i write a sentence each of the boys was awarded this is a sentence this is a sentence so syntactical structure of the sentence is this this is the arrangement of the words in sensical manner developing a beautiful and full meaning now there are different words in this very sentence okay this word we have to see we have to decipher 
the uh, definition and the exact meaning of this very word over here and of is you know preposition the is article definite article it is boys it's noun noun in plural and was its verb and it is auxiliary verb it's actually primary auxiliary that we know and this verb and this is the principal verb this is the principal verb or we can say that it is the man verb now what is this this we have to see each of the boys was awarded okay it means that each of the boys so each is having each is having connection with this boys each of the boys was awarded it means that the boys present the boys present who have been awarded okay have been awarded i can say it like this that each of the boys was awarded it means that every single boy every single boy so in separation in isolated terms in isolated terms in separate terms singly every each of the boys was awarded it means that every single boy was awarded first we have to see each of the boys each 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 boy so boy noun so each will be pronoun that's clear okay and boy each has been used as a pronoun but it has been used in separate terms for all the boys in you know separate terms for all the boys but in separate terms singly each suppose there are 10 boys okay 10 boys have been addressed by this word singly so each first we have to make clear that each is the pronoun why because it's used for boys boys are noun okay just for boy so boy is noun and for boy the word each has been used so it is pronoun and for boys the word each has been used separately the word each has been singly used for particular boy so it is you know pronoun but pronoun in distribution manner so it will be distributive pronoun so what is distributive pronoun distributive pronoun is a pronoun which is used for the person place or thing singly first in single manner separately we can say okay so this is this clear okay we can write another sentence neither neither of the boys so one thing we have to make clear is that boys for boys the word either has been used so it will be pronoun the either neither of the boys this neither is actually the opposed opposed of what i mean say it's opposed of either so either and neither are having the same you know function but either is used in positive term and neither is used in negative terms okay now see neither of the boys can take it so this word has been used for the boys so it will be pronoun but it has been used for the boys in separate terms in separate terms it means that neither of the boys can take it it means that both the two boys are not supposed to take it. so both there is there is complete negation there is complete negation but uh, the uh, this word has has also been used individually for the two boys it has also been used separately for the two boys okay this has been you know singly used for the two boys for the boys two boys okay so it will be first it will be pronoun why because it has been used for the boys and it will be distributive pronoun why distributive pronoun because it has been individually or it has been singly or it has been separately used for the boys 
so it will be distributive pronoun so so this will be distributive similarly there are different uh, you know this is the thing i have you know given the example so that we will be able to get the proper concept of these very things and these are some of the different uh, what is examples through which we are you know inshallah able to uh, get the exact uh, concept so this was something about the distributive pronoun and uh, Inshallah, we have got the conclusion of the typology of of of, of pronoun, and Inshallah, we are in next lecture we'll be discussing some different part of speech.